Wapi makofi, makofi, makofi. Wewe au kuniacha kamwe wala kuni darau hata siku moja wengine waliniukumu marafiki walijitenga nani na wewe nishika mkono hadi mwisho Entitled In Jail. In Jail. It's lonely at night. It's waiting for letters that no one will write. It's sitting down with nothing to do, trying to figure out just who is who. It's finding out that people are made of stone and realizing that you all alone. It's waiting for visits that never take place. And every dream you have has no place to go. Therefore, I'm going to do my time with my head held high and keep my integrity and pride till the day I die. For one day, one day, that day will come when I am free and it will be my time to forget those who forgot. Thank you. Bereenu nitambiza tayari kuakaribia shairi Ritolo Gerezani. Wapenzi tele nisikia ni waeleze alio moyoni mulio fugu au bado wenye atia au bila mfumilifu ulabifu na bada ya ziki ni falaja. Wapenzi gerezani si pahali pa kudhurumiwa walakini ni mahali pa kulekebisho na haki nanyi maofisa wetu hogela zetu zipokeni maturida kikamilifu bila kujali makosa yetu mawaida mwatupa kila siku kama ndugu na dada zenu wapenzi gerezani si pahali pa kulekebisho walakini ni mahali pa kulekebisho na haki asanteni in front of you is Denis Kangene ready to present to you Akikuyu Solovas entitled Shuria Magana Joketa na Shuria Magana na nyumete wa Magana todone kwenda muigana wa Shuria Magana kore mothenya wakana na tukwenda wana Sisi kama wa mama 
twasimama kwa ujasiri ingawaje ni wafungwa marekebisho tunayo mengi tumefunzwa ya kutuelimisha na ya kutujenga ukweli ni bayana sio mwisho wa maisha ubaguzi na usherati haufai katika nchi yetu asante nie hamaje eto wa mako aje tagu okafuko na kwa kwa ne hala one damo ga ithia nyua the ginya sifo ni mwage ithika mukeliega eh kwa kwa ne hala mukaga via inyo lea wa modundi ogweto ka huko ogio ka hau one ne dia kwa ka huko no ba ene ya dige to na maima ngombe mweno mwe ko ne kwa kwa eh ho tigo ko kwa ne na waka ga so ba dige ta moraga ona ke de la do hige te na ne gwe na mura ba yo ne moti dia na oti ne dio na hina mo ike mo ha
Wani bakavu kumbe otampende Wani wabavu sema wapituende Kwa mapezi nisi Wani toka yuzi zile za mapezi
Because what I've seen is so great, and I just want to give you hope. I didn't come here alone. I work with my team. I will give my sister also just maybe her one minute so that I can use the other four. To just give you hope and to really congratulate the officers in this prison. I was almost in tears. Seeing how joyful they are with the prisoners. Something that we didn't see for a very long time when we were in prison. So I think God, God himself is in this prison. So can I welcome Rob? This is my sister. Tulikuwa na hela hata women prison and we were trustees. Nilimunguta miaka hiyo. Idhana. So hata mkika hapo tulika. Na hizo siku zetu kwanza ilikuwa mbaya. But we thank God reforms zilikuja. Mimi nilifungwa kwa sababu ya kupiga mwanamke ya mayasma. So na nao ilikuwa ujinga. Kama uko hapa my sisters, my, my daughters, kama ulipigana, please, ukirudi uko nyuma, usipigane tena. Sindiyo? Na, ile kitu ningesema ya kwamba, these wonders here, our madams, our officers, they were very important to us. Be obedient, more obedient kabisa, na more patient, na muombe mungu. Ukiashimu hawa, hata kitu ikitokeleza mukianda uko inje, wanasema, ebu tutafutieni mtu mmoja, atasema ita fulani, lakini ukiwa manga mkweka paki. So, mimi le kitu nigependa kwa ma, God has a reason, that's why you are here. Na tinashukuru sana, nikiwaona hivi wanafurai, wanafurai tu sana, kwa sababu, tumekumbuka penye tulito, na mbarikiwe sana. kwa hapa sio mwisho wa maisha na kwamba Mungu alijua kabla hujaungwa kwa tuna na mama yake kwamba siku hii wakati huu tutakuwa hapa kitu important ni kuwa na purpose sio rahisi kukaje like it is so painful ndio sisi ni binadamu tunakosea lakini ukikosea una wakati uko hapa unatafakari unafikiria Na mbele unaangalia itakuwa aje. Isiwe umekaa hapa na hujifunzi chochote. 
we are so glad na hiyo talent tunaona hapa sisi tunafanya na Mr Musioka we are in partnership with him na tunatembea jela karibu zote hapa Kenya and we want to find ni wapi tunaweza ku kuingilia so vile tumeona hapa tutarudi na, na Mr Musioka na tutakaa na wakubwa na tutaona ni wapi tunaweza ingia there is one thing in life that is called firmness of purpose how vijana tunaona hapa hawajaweka jela kwa akili yao wameona okay niko hapa what can i do to make my days go what talent has god given me can i use it can i make use of it kuna mtu hapa ataona na aseme ukitoka njo tufanye hivi na hivi nilipokuwa jela tuliingia with robi kulikuwa kubaya unge karibia askari ilikuwa ni viboko kaba viboko hakuna there was no friendship ilikuwa ngumu kulikuwa kuchafu hakuna maji chawa chakula mbaya it was bad lakini Mungu alituepusha nisipokuambia nilikuwa jela unaweza jua uwezi kujua so haijali kwa hapa ni akili yako when i was there i made use of my time hii kati wa mnaona tulianzisha langata mimi na madam wanini akiwa ofisa in charge hizo reforms zilikuja wakati sisi ndio tulikuwa huko so i was in charge of catwalk i was so happy to see that i was in charge of points and, and plays i was huyu alikuwa naimba hizo mudi lawanje anajua kusicheza sana so i was in charge of the ward i was in charge of the school so make good use of your life when you are here mkubwa wa kule alinipenda sana because i was versatile i was my hands were on everything i was so busy ukichukua wakati wako wa kupigana na maaskari utakwendi utakuwa na maisha magumu kwa sababu kwa kweli hawa hawakukuleta hapa si ni sheria hawa waliletwa tu uliletwa hapa ili wa wakuchunge wakati wako ukiisha si utatoka ukikutana na yeye nje si utamsalimia vizuri ulinilinda vizuri tukikuja tukienda majela zingine tunakutana na maofisa tunawajua inakuwa raha sana kwa sababu tulikaa vizuri vile robi amekwambia tulikuwa trustees tulikuwa na nguo ya blue nafikiri nimeona trustees huko pia so trustees unajua chakula jikoni ni gani tunapata ile mzuri hakuna kitu mbaya unaishi vizuri so kaa vizuri na pia maisha yako hapa itakuwa nyororo nilipokuwa jela i didn't waste my time i'm just telling you this so that ujue pia we unaweza fanya kitu na maisha yako mimi nilikuwa wa kwanza kuandika kitabu hakukuwa na makalamu hakukuwa na nini nilikuwa naziandika kwa toilet paper hadithi ya maisha yangu nikaandika kwa toilet paper toilet paper toilet paper wakati reforms zilikuja na nkomudi niliweza kuifanya ikawa kitabu saa hii inauzwa kwa market kubwa zaidi hapa duniani inaitwa Amazon wale wanajua ilirudi ikawa kitabu kwa sababu shule sasa tulipewa na mimi ndio nilikuwa kiongozi wa shule because in my, my background mimi nilikuwa mwalimu na niliingia jela kwa sababu ya makosa ya dawa ya, ya kulevya ambaye sikuwa nimejua ndio naingizwa so wengine mnaweza kuwa hapa haukupanga kufanya makosa lakini Mungu ana sababu na maisha yako so nilikuja na kopi moja hiyo kitabu na nitaachia ofisa in charge wale wanapenda kusoma kienda library mtasoma it's called deadly money maker by saga mark odong nitumia hiyo jina kwa sababu watu wa dawa ni watu very vengeful wakati nilikuwa ndani nikaambiwa nisitumie jina yangu kabisa also tuko na youtube channel ninaomba nyi wote maofisas wote inaitwa saga prison stories mtatuona huko mimi na rafiki sisi dada yangu we have made use of our life sasa tukienda mahali ma, mahali popote unasikia wewe hey, you are the one we, we, tunakujua wewe ndio yule wa youtube so you can turn this into something good haitaandikwa vile nakwambia na usiweke kwa roho yake yako ati nilikuwa mfungwa nilikuwa nini hii yote Mungu alifanya nini alijua 
na tunashukuru sana officer in charge tena sana tena zaidi kwa uzuri ambayo unaishi nao na ndugu zetu na dada zetu Mungu azidi kukubariki kwa sababu hiyo ni roho moja very special Kuna officers wengine wakiona mfungo anaona tu takataka mbele yake lakini hatujaona hiyo hapo Mungu awabariki officers na wakubwa Isamusioka God bless you thank you so much tutapanga tuje siku moja tuwape mahadithi kwa sababu sasa muda ni kidogo tushastia eh, tengele ya lunch mururu ziko tayari si ndio na pengele <laughs> muwe na lunch njema na Mungu awabariki sana na walinde na naombea mtoke muwe wa raia wema pigia akinyima kofi anapoenda kukesi Ye ni mada mwangufu sana. Nenyewe, tatafuta time. Hakuji wape story. Tamu sana. Hauta ona, hauta jua, jua ili kiendelea. Yeah.